All right. Today we're going to see BRRP. So that's virtual router latency protocol. So this is a protocol that is not a system proprietary. So this is a protocol that can be used in any vendors. All right. So this is a IEEE standard. And the status that's going to be used is master and backup. So one router is considered to be the master and others are uh, going to be in state backup. And default priority value is going to be 100. And the multicast IP address that's going to be used is 2240080. And the UDP port used is 1112. So this port should not be blocked in your environment to make sure this protocol to be working and uh, master election so the master election is going to be used first criteria is going to be the highest priority so whichever has the highest priority that router is going to be elected as master and if there is a tie the highest ip address that going to be considered for the master election so i will show that how it happens in the configuration so, so these are the basic information that you would need to know in this protocol okay all right so let's get into the configuration so this is the topology that i'm going to use so i'm going to use two router but it is not necessary that you need to use two router you can also use three routers so so i'm just going to configure a basic topology so, so let's start okay let's clear this up okay so i'm going to configure the interface first and dot zero dot zero dot one slash twenty four No shut. Also, let's configure the VRRP in this interface. So I'm going to use the virtual IP. Two fifty four. This is the virtual IP that I'm going to use for VRRP. Okay, let's enter. All right, you can see the VRRP is enabled now. So I can see the router one as master. Let's go ahead and configure router two and let's see what are all the changes that's happening. All right, so let's And the virtual IP address is all right. All right. So now we can see router two is elected as the master. Why is that so? And router one is showing us backup. Okay, so let's see why. Okay. 
So the criteria that used to elect master, the first criteria is going to be the priority. So the default priority on both the routers is as you can see there is a tie. So since there is a tie, so it is going for the next criteria. That's the IP address. So as you can see, router one IP address is 10.0.0.1. And the router two IP address is 10.0.0.2. So since router two IP address is higher than router one, router two is elected as the master. All right. So if you want to make changes, so if you want to make change that router one has to be the master and you want router one to be the master and router two to be the backup. So what shall we do? We can change the priority value manually to make router one as the master and router two as the backup. So let's do that. All right, so I've changed the priority value in router one. Let's see what changes will happen. Okay. So we see router one is elected as the master now, and router two is elected as the backup. So since we change the priority value, router one is one twenty. Router two is hundred. So since we change the priority value, so router one has, is now master. All right. So I hope this video is informative. So if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.